What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Kelly Pot. Or Kelly Pot? I'm not sure. Either way, this is a roguelike. It's been out for since November. Um, maybe even a little bit before that. I think there was a. I think November was its full release. It got an English translation, if I remember right. And Kelly Pot is. Like I said, it's a roguelite. I'm a story-driven action platformer with roguelite elements, combining classic side-scrolling gameplay, a great variety of powers, and a gripping plot from start to finish. Immerse yourself in this adventure to come. Um, it's got gorgeous art, and it's honestly what drew me to this immediately. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'm excited to check it out. As always, game link is down in the description, and if you like the stream, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the stream, like the video. <laughs> I'm still not used to like making videos. I'm enjoying it, and I really hope you guys are as well. This should be the Serenian Cloudspire. Kane, where did you go? I must find you. And jump. We can dash. We can dash in the air, which is awesome. No double jump yet, though. Hey, you there. Knight with the red scarf. Don't just stand there. Get over here and help me. Help me get rid of those fiends, please. Yes, I should lend him a hand. You can dash through dangers and not get hurt. Nope. Name's Will. Maybe I'll see you around. All right. So, like Lycanthrope, like Lycanthrope Soul Gem One. It's a secondary attack. Summon the spirit of a Lycanthrope to attack twice. Uh, inventory. Secondary attack. So, what do I do to? Oh, that's fucking cool. Help! What's going on? Better take a look before going down there. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Good thing it wasn't a long fall. I'm getting quite the scare there. Anyway, thank goodness you weren't hurt. We weren't hurt. See ya. There's a chest down there. Pagoda Blade. Passive ability. Basic attack will destroy most projectiles. Nice. Ooh. I like it. I keep hoping for like a double jump. It really feels like maybe that's a maybe that's a thing we'll get eventually, but it feels like a, a game where I can benefit from a double jump. Oh, take that. Come one, come all. Quality deals at bargain prices, honesty assured. Come and make yourselves right at home. So you are a merchant. That reminds me, I think you dropped something. Such embarrassing blunders couldn't possibly have anything to do with me. Are you going to buy something or what? But that chest you left, all right, never mind that. Uh, Sanguine Aegis, after taking damage, generate a barrier that lasts 10 seconds. Drastically increase SP recovery rate or potion vial. Let's take the Sanguine Aegis. I can't take that. So we'll take this reserved branch and we'll take health. Left trigger does that. I'm not going to use it yet. That's a heart. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, what is going on? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it comes out and I have to fucking attack it. Okay. That was cool. We got some bullet hell in here. I like that. You 
Music's not bad either. You sense an arduous battle ahead of you, and it may not be possible to return once you proceed. Are you ready? Yes, let's do this. Are we, are we gonna load? There we go. Old clock tower atop the pinnacle of paradoxes. Oh boy. Kane! There you are. I've spent ages looking for you. Why did you suddenly run off like that? We still have a mission to carry out. Mission? Oh, that's right. But you can easily handle that alone, can't you? Why do you need me for? What's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what I said. What's gotten into you? Brother, is something wrong? Something wrong? Not at all. Nothing is wrong. In fact, I've never been better. Things would be better still if I could just get rid of you. Stop messing around with me. Messing around? Sure. After all, everything I do is a joke to you. That is how you see me, is it not? Why don't you come and see for yourself, Abel? Come and see whether or not I am just messing around. Your big bro is angry. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, we did it again. We did it again. Oh, shit. Come on, Kane, stop this already. Damn you. Um. No? Oh shit. Oh sh Oh shit. Damn it. Just went right into that. to do here <laughs> I don't know how to Oh come on <laughs> What is the matter with that night in blue? Hey red scarf, you doing okay? Whoa, what the Uh oh. That's not good. Am I supposed to press something? Yeah, okay. So that was the that was the intro. Okay. That was a hell of a first fight. Are you awake? Thank goodness, I was just beginning to think you won't ever wake up again. I've got no one else to talk to here. The boredom is killing me. What is this place? No idea. My trade has brought me to all kinds of exotic places before, but never have I seen a wasteland like this. It's as, it's as if we arrived in another world altogether. Another world? Do you remember anything about what happened? What happened? 
That's right. I was making my way to the Serenian Cloud Spire with my brother Kane, and then he suddenly ran off, and then... Kane, why did you do all this? Don't feel too bad. You are brothers, so as long as you are both around, it's only a matter of time before you clear up the quarrels and squabbles. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Um, what was your name again? It's Will. Put some effort into remembering people's names. Got it. Thanks, Will. My name is Abel. Upon the endless ethereal sea, the soundless array of galleys do sail, where the forest of gilded spires be. Upon time-worn elephant-trampled trails, from perfumed jungles the caravan hail. Ivory columns of palaces forgotten, under the moon their sleep lies unbroken. What's with the singing all of a sudden? Are you a bard now? I'm a merchant. I was just wondering, uh, we are in a different world now, right? There could be all manners of sights to see, marvels beyond our imagination. Looks just like a wasteland to me. I doubt there will be any such things. Dream a little, will ya? Why do you think I became a traveling merchant? I dream of exploring our vast, wondrous world. My dream is to eat well, sleep well, and fight well. Hmm, speaking of that, back in the clouds fire, you took six of my health potions. When are you going to pay up? <laughs> Excuse me, I have to pay for that? Of course you do! Now is not the time to talk about this stuff. I'm going to take a look around. See you later. What? Stop! You better pay up! <laughs> nah. <laughs> there is no end in sight. No matter where I go, no sign of any exits either. Just what should I do? I need to find a way back to Celebes. To the Cloud Spire and find Kane. What? What's this? There's some strange power emanating from that clock. It's calling to me. Ugh. Where the fuck that key come from? <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Are you all right? Huh? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? You just stood with your arm in the air, not responding to anything. What's in your hand? I... what? Such a beautiful silver key. Is that the key to your house? Um, no, it isn't. It, it's just a trinket. My brother and I both have one. I was just thinking of buying it off of you, but I guess not, since it seems so important to you. Weird. Why was I holding the key up just now? It's as if in that moment I had no control over my own body. Ah! There! I think I see some kind of portal. I don't recall that being there a minute ago. Let's go take a look. By the way, remember that potion bottle I sold you earlier? I revealed it, refilled it for you. Remember to use it if you get in trouble. Okay, thanks for the reminder. How do I use it again? <laughs> you press up. I remember that. So what is this? Oh my god, that is t incredibly tiny and hard to read. Wow, I hope they change that. <laughs> My name is Kaufman, a folklorist from a foreign land. For 10 years, I have been engrossed in studying the ancient stone architecture of Celephice and the extraordinary murals in its surrounding ruins. This is my fourth visit to these unforgettable lands. I am accompanied by my students, Emily, Max, and Tom, my assistant, Tuck, and my beloved wife, Wendy. Having received permission from the nobles, we took up a residence at the ground at... Uh, Nepenthe Castle. My studies proceeded wonderfully for the first two weeks. The scholar Elias even given granted me access to precious manuscripts. That the no oh my god, that is so hard to read. Um, like it's this light green on a green background. It is, and it is tiny, and that is incredibly hard to read. Uh, they should fix that. I'm. 
yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna accept all the quests. <laughs> Do you wish to enter the Gollum world? Sure. Ah, this is. Will are we back in Celeface? Will? He's not here. Where did Will go? Looking at it now, this Celeface feels a bit different. Everywhere is blocked off by mud. I can't get into the cloud spire like this. There's another way that goes through the Nepenthe Castle. I'll take a look there for now. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is still early access. Let me check here real quick. No, it's in full launch. I honestly they should fix that though, because that that green on green, like I, I almost couldn't, I, I couldn't read. It hurt. I'd had I had to have my face like right next to my monitor. That is a, it's not, not a good font color. What does this do? Okay. There's our map. There's our inventory. The friendly fiend has given you 54 gold. Okay. Why? Why is he friendly? What? <laughs> I can't hurt him. I tried. It's up here. Okay, so these are the portals that I could just teleport right back to. Okay. How does this work? Oh, shit. Hmm. There's a symbol here. There's something written besides it. It reads, grants you a more powerful slam capable of destroying rocks or block blocking the way. Enemies will explode upon death. So now does that just... Okay, so passives. It's just gonna build up. Like any roguelite. I, 
are you the Avenger here to help me? Greetings. I've de you've decided to help us gather ingredients for our research, yes? Mm, I cannot thank you enough. Things have not been easy since the higher ups cut our funding. Your arrival couldn't have been more fortuitous. We will be sure to include your name in our final paper. Let's not waste time. What we need is a sus subsil sapling. A subs what? Subsil saplings, a rare alchemical regent. It looks something like this, grows in the very dark places, like this castle. The fiends might have picked the stuff up and stored it away in treasure chests. That's why we need an adventurer like you. Very expensive stuff, you know. It takes years to create the right environment to cultivate them and longer and longer still to grow. A single sapling could sell for 30,000 gold on the market. If it's that valuable, how are you not worried that I'll just take it for myself? What? You... Uh... Um, you... You better not get any funny ideas. I, uh, I read that b before that. If you don't handle the stuff properly, it'll turn into a very scary fiend. That's right, immensely terrifying. Even the most powerful warriors cannot defeat it. Only a trained professional like me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I won't steal it. I'll go and check out some of the chests. I've been through every chest in this castle, but I didn't find any. Find the thing you wanted. I see. I'll just jot that down and thank you for your help. Here's your payment. You're going to pay me, even though I didn't find anything. Of course. At least now we know that there is no need to keep looking in this area. Research will also be hit or miss process. It's best not to feel too disappointed. That is why my colleague taught. Well, that is what my colleague taught me anyway. Oh. Speaking of my colleague, have you seen him around? His name is Poole. He should be doing some tests in another part of the castle. He can be a bit passionate about his subject. If you see him, please bear with him. Alright. I killed that fiend and he healed me. Thought it was gonna roll out a little bit further. No! Oh, I completed two of the three quests. Okay. Oh, and we're back here. Welcome back. Ugh, I'm back in the wasteland. You went bam and disappeared just then, and now you're back with a whoosh. Where'd you go? Honestly, I don't know either. I was in a place that looked like Silifice, but not quite. The whole place was flooded by mud. Really? Creepy, right? I want to go too. Although, I don't think I can. After you disappeared, I tried to jump into the portal as well. Didn't work, though. I just passed right through the thing. So I'm the only one who can get across. Mm-hmm. The place looked like Celeface, but not quite. If I had to guess, that was probably the Celeface of a parallel world. Parallel world? Yes, it was Celeface, just not the one you know. It's in another world where there was a drown where it's drowned in mud. So you're saying that this wasteland is the point of origin for parallel worlds. And I will return to this point every time I die. Perhaps. But I want to get back to our world, back to the Cloud Spire and find Kane. Can't help it. There's only one exit in the wasteland, and you'll just have to try to find an, a lead back to our world through there. 
Yeah, you're right. I will look for clues. Oh, right. Speaking of that, did you see another me in the parallel world? No, I didn't. That's a pity. Oh, yeah. You should have this. Abel has obtained a notebook from Will. This is my travel notebook. The information regarding various fiends and items are recorded within. That sounds neat. Let me take a look. Why is it all blank? I was too occupied with doing business, so I couldn't be bothered to write anything. But I've already drawn up the grids, and it's elegantly bound. Mm, why would you give me an empty notebook? You fill it in for me. Making notes for you. Do I look that bored to you? Well, that's up to you. It's yours either way. The grids are already drawn up, and the binding does look pretty exquisite. I'm not doing it. Unlock <laughs> the notes function in the inventory menu. Abel will make rec records of the fiends and items encountered during his adventures. <laughs> not doing it. All right, all right. You don't have to shout. <laughs> you know, you have the smell of items on you. What's the smell of items? It's the smell of, well, the items. You know, the ones I sell. Oh, speaking of that, I did find a bunch of items when I was in the other world, but they vanished after I died, and I was left with what I started with. Hmm. Guess you cannot bring the items from a parallel world back here. If that's so, where's that smell coming from? Aha! Found it! You have some item fragments on you. We'll remove something from Abel using a small pair of tweezers. Fragments. What's that? I don't see anything. Hmm. You need keen eyes and the instinct of a seasoned merchant like me, young man. Did you honestly think everyone has what it takes to be a merchant? Well, yeah. I mean, anyone can be a merchant if they wanted to. Ah, the items of a parallel world. Such a curious flavor. The familiar yet indescribable power lying within. Tell me what the fragments are already. Anyway, thanks for bringing them to me. Try and find more items of the parallel worlds in, you, in the parallel worlds if you can. I will collect the fragments you bring back. And I will reward you for it accordingly. Reward? Tell me, tell me. I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> uh, I have to learn stuff? That does not sound like fun. What is with one random spot that was just, like, all in Chinese? That's weird. Knowledge is power. Power will come to you once you have the knowledge. Come on already. Okay, so we have fragments we can use. Slam will destroy fragile floors. Enemies slain have a 4% chance of dropping healing items. Let's go with impact. Consume one fragment to learn the impact room? Sure. All right. Incredible. I feel an unfamiliar strength within me. And there we go again. Got it. What the hell? Wait, this altar. What about it? It looks like I can insert a room here. You are right. Hurry up and try it. All right, so it's activated. Nothing seems to be happening. No, I think I can feel my power growing. Oh, really? Why do you get all the good stuff? You jealous? Never. <laughs> Seems like this altar can empower runes. Should we discover any more? Let's give them a try here. Yeah, so even though it's in full release, it needs to have some localization done here because there's still parts like that last window there too. There was a bunch that was all just in Chinese. And just weird random spots in the the dialogue all of a sudden are just all Chinese intermixed with English. It's just odd. So 
I should have. Yeah, I do have slam. I am Kaufman. Thank you for accepting my request. Alas, I cannot help uh, but be reminded of my student, Emily. She may have been a meek girl, but even the unruliest of tavern drunks dare not irritate her. All because of the throwing knives she carried, you see. Oh, she taught those guys who couldn't keep their hands to themselves a lesson. She had more than just daggers, of course. She was an alchemist, first and foremost, after all. Have you seen those potions? The ones that explode into colorful flames when thrown on the ground? For an old, feeble scholar like me, I suppose those are the only weapons I can use. Daggers and bombs and such. Could you please demonstrate to me how to use these little things? Teach me how to get rid of these pesky golems without having to get too close. Hm, well, so I just have to use a ranged secondary attack to defeat some fiends, right? I'm gonna keep an eye on my SP. I won't be able to use any secondary attacks if I get too exhausted. In that case, if that happens, basic attacks will help recover faster. That's Merchant still offering business with a smile, even when the world is such a state like this. I guess that's what you call being a professional. <laughs> you can have this. Don't worry, it's just something I found anyway. Ooh, we got coins. Secondary attack will pass through walls. Ooh. Piercing. Increasing the wielder's maximum HP by two. So would I have done the quest? Is it done? I feel like it's done. I must not have to worry about them until... I think it's when I finish it tells me if I did the quest or not. Hello there. Have you seen Mr. Elias anywhere in this castle? I'm afraid I too have only just arrived at this place. I do not know this person you speak of. Mm, it's quite dangerous here. You really should leave this town. <laughs> there would be no reason for me to be here if it was not dangerous. Happen to sell some unusual trinkets that you may be interested in. Oh? But I don't really have much money. Fear not. I do not ask for money. I merely wish to have your heart. What do you mean by that? But of course, I will not insist on if, if you are unwilling. Should you decide to accept my offer, then simply take that thing and go. The wielder deals three additional damage when attacking and also takes one additional damage when hit. Thank you for your patronage. Well then, I shall eagerly receive your heart. Considering I just got that extra heart, worth it. Now we do take more damage, but I deal more damage, so. Good trade-off, if you ask me. I forgot I can go through the walls. I just wrecked somebody through the wall.
Alright, sweet. I was starting to think like, I thought I went everywhere. Deals at bargain prices. Honestly, honesty is sure. Come and make yourself right at home. Huh? And who might you be? So, dear customers, see anything that tickles your fancy? Um, I'm looking. Alright, let's see here. So, Spear of Malice. Secondary attack. Throw a spear directly forward, dealing additional damage over time to the enemy hit. Okay, font size needs to be increased. You have that huge window. Oh, increase it. I can't... It's really small. Um, you no longer stagger when hit. After using dash, the damage on your next basic attack is increased by two. I like that. Okay. Ooh, what we get here? Summon a weak sentry golem to aid you in battle. Hell yeah! <laughs> Fuck them up! Love it. This place is just filled with the memories of the scholar and his beloved wife. Lady Ceres was as tough as she was brave. Sadly, her light was extinguished when the plague fell upon us. I picked this up around here. You can have it if you want. 70 gold. Hi, adventure. Nice to meet you. I heard good things about you from Azur. I've been quite desperate for this rather important region. As researchers, we have the means to drive friends, fiends away. But to acquire the precious soul gems from fiends? That we cannot do, and I refuse to risk Azur's life for it. Soul gems are the condensed and spirit energy of fiends in crystal form, occasionally left behind when the fiend is killed. They're not too hard to find on the market, but as I'm sure you know, we are rather short on funds, so we must ask for your help once again. You can keep the soul gem you find, I just need a tiny piece of it. Plant it all out in the cheapest way possible, you see. The soul gem fragment is only a catalyst to increase the reactivity of the fluid de our extract so that we won't have to buy more expensive enton en <coughs> entomani solutions. It's also safer because it doesn't require the... Nope, I don't get it. I'll just nod and play along. From there, it'll be easy to obtain the compound crystals with over 93% purity. Such a brilliant method utilizing Seymour's third law. Oh, my apologies, I do go on a bit. You know, for an adventurer, you are far more knowledgeable than I expected. Oh, um, really? Most people get so impatient when I start talking, even our mentor. There was only one other colleague, uh, colleague beside Azern who pays attention to me. You've got another colleague on the team? Used to. A very talented one at that. Even at a young age, he was pioneering this research regarding the phantomization of physical materials. Such a pity that she dropped out of the academy. I've not seen her ever since. Oh, if only she was still around to help. Did you know she was highly proficient in the extraction and application of various gases? 
Astrology was another one. With a star chart, she could always find the best place to brew potions. Even our mentor couldn't keep up with her during some debates. <coughs> Excuse me. At this rate, I'm going to be here all day. Yes, indeed. I would love to discuss this further, but we really should focus on the current project. I'm going to hunt some feeds for a soul gem. I brought you the soul gem. Ah, thank you. Your assistance has been like refreshing gust of air in a sweaty, stuffy lab. That was supposed to be a cool breeze on a hot summer day, right? Ever since this project began, the only people I've had contact with are Azern and our dead mentor. You were the third person to lend me a hand. Wait, contact with your mentor, even though he is dead? Oh dear, did I let that slip? Might as well, I guess I owe you a demonstration after all the help you've given. He poses, uh, pours a few drops of the potion onto the ground. Smoke fizzles from the ground and forms the shape of a man. This is my mentor. I received of his word of his passing from the academy a few years ago. He was a harsh man. I hated him once, but now I think I can sympathize with his dedication to his subject. Either way, that was when I inherited his project and began making this mystic gaze of elixir from scratch. A few years ago, I accidentally spilled the half-finished potion all over my regent's case. And then there he was, my mentor, right before me. Did that mean my potion was a success? Or was it just a coincidence? I'm not sure. That regent's case was one of the things my mentor left for me. I still didn't, don't recognize every one of those rune ingredients, rare ingredients inside. Perhaps his ghost manifested due to the connection he had with the case. His form is so ever so blurry, and he's unable to speak. Nonetheless, over all these years, he's been guiding me through gestures. I have not yet told Azern of this. The two of them were never particularly close. But he was our mentor after all, and I'm not sure how his own would react. My apologies. I went on for far too long again. Here, take your reward. Have you heard the rumors about the deceitful fiends? I dare not speak to them. What if they steal my limbs while I sleep? Nonsense. I just spoke to them, and I also took their gift. See, I'm still perfectly fine. Oh, you're right. Perhaps the rumors are made in some selfish man who wanted all the gifts for himself. Thank you for personally debunking this myth. Now we may all enjoy our conversations without fear. I'm assuming he's talking about, like, the nice fiends that are... Let's take a while to load in between. A long while. Scryer's Chamber. Oh, Mr. Elias. It's me, Abel. I need to find a way to the Serenium Cloud Spire. Do you know how I can do that? Serenium? Yes, my brother... Oh, sorry, I was reading that wrong. My brother Kane is still there. I must find him. Cut. Ain't? <laughs> Kane. Kane, 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 What? Sir, what are you... Cain is dead. What? Cain is dead. And you shall join him. 
Mr. Alliance. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Did I die? I died. <laughs> wow, that went quick. And take us back to our hub. Abel! Take a look at this. I created an arcane protector. Arcane protector? You say, what? Well, how does it work? If activated at a critical moment, it'll repel enemy attacks against you, but it'll be completely deplete your SP. It will completely deplete your SP. Ah, well, that sounds like it'll be useful. I know, right? Hurry up and put it on. It's free of charge. Don't mind if I do. How does it feel? Any discomforts? No. Wait, discomfort? What do you mean by that? Um, well, when your SP is depleted, your body will enter a state of magic overload. You won't be able to use your secondary attack for a period of time. Hey, don't fret. You still got a sword, have you not? Attacking with your sword will help recover SP faster. Is this really okay? It's completely fine. Just be careful that it might explode if you try to use it while overloaded. <coughs> I'm joking. There are failsafe mechanics installed. It will blow up as long as they are working properly. I mean, they usually work. What kind of protection is that? I don't want it. What? Why can't I get it off? That's right, you can't. All you can do now is change those cards around. That's prototypes for you. Will you... Here's an important life lesson. There are always strings attached to something a merchant gives you for free. Get back here! Obtain the arcane protector. Early bird protota. prototype. And more, more Chinese when I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Alright, well that's Kelly Pot. I actually really like it. and I, I, I'm going to be playing more of this. I um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, like I said in the beginning, the game link is down in the description it is currently on sale in the winter sale on steam so definitely check that out if it if it looked like something you wanted the combat seemed a little I, I won't lie it seemed a little simple but i'm excited to see what more the game has in store i i it was it was enough that i was enjoying it and i wasn't boring of it but yeah it, not a, not a bad little roguelike well, thank you again. If you like this, please hit that like button. Um, with Christmas coming up here this week, videos are going to be kind of a little weird. Streams uh, Wednesday night. So that's tomorrow night or today. Sorry, um, this should be going up on Wednesday. So uh, 7 p.m. at night, I'll be streaming Santa Craft. It's a uh, crafting Santa, uh, Christmas game. We'll be streaming that, having some fun. And then I won't be streaming for pretty much the rest of the year. Um, but there will still be regular video updates. So Caves of Cud goes on Thursday and another amazing Cultivator Simulator on this Saturday. Thank you and have a good one.